Have you ever heard strange tip about guinea pig care? Today, we'll bust five myths about guinea pig care. We will talk about dropping, urine smells, batting frequency, grooming needs, and dental health. By using evidence from veterinary research, I will unpack those myths. By the end of this video, I will also give you some tips to keep your friend healthy and happy. Myth number one. Guinea pig poop are toxic for humans. Let's be honest, cleaning out guinea pig cage isn't everyone's favorite task. And sometimes, the thought of all that poop can make us wonder, is it actually dangerous? The myth we often hear is that guinea pig poop is inherently toxic to humans, posing a direct poisoning risk. The truth is, guinea pig feces aren't toxic like venom. However, the droppings can carry bacteria such as salmonella that make people sick. According to the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention (CDC), small animals, including guinea pigs, can carry germ in their urine, droppings, and saliva. You don't even have to touch the animal to get sick. Accessories, hideout, fleeces can become contaminated. An outbreak investigation by the CDC found that a cluster of Salmonella enteriditis infections in 2015-2017 was linked to contact with pet guinea pigs. Even if these animals look healthy, some people can still develop infections after cleaning cages or handling their piggies. Why it matters? Thinking droppings are poisonous may lead some owners to panic and overreact while ignoring the real issue. Germs Salmonella infections are especially dangerous for children under 5, adults over 65, and immunocompromised people. If someone in your household falls into these categories, they could develop severe diarrhea or require hospitalization after being exposed to salmonella. Practical advice. Always wash your hands thoroughly with soap and running water after handling guinea pigs, cleaning their cages, or touching their bedding. Try to clean their supplies like food bowls and hideaway outside the kitchen to avoid cross-contamination with human food. High-risk individuals should avoid kissing or snuggling guinea pig and should let someone else do the cage cleaning. Now that we have demystified the poop panic, let's address a more smelly topic. Myth number two, guinea pig urine is stinky. Have you ever walked into a room and immediately noticed that pet smell? Many guinea pig owners worry their furry friends will make their home smell unpleasant. The myth is that guinea pig urine naturally has a strong, offensive odor, making them inherently smelly pets. The truth is, healthy guinea pig urine has only a mild odor. Strong smells usually come from ammonia buildup caused by infrequent cleaning or poor ventilation, not the urine itself. The Royal Society for Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, RSPCA, advises pot cleaning cages daily and deep cleaning at least once a week. Guinea pigs are sensitive to ammonia. Neglected cages allow urine to produce smelly fumes that can irritate their respiratory system. Why it matters? The strong smell isn't just bad for you. Ammonia exposure harms your guinea pig's lungs and eyes. Chronic exposure increases the risk of respiratory infections. If their cage stinks, your piggy may be living in uncomfortable conditions. On the reverse, if you assume odor is normal, you might overlook a urinary and tract infection or bladder stones, both of which cause unusual strong smell. Practical advice. If you notice a sudden change in odor despite good care, consult a veterinarian. A strong ammonia smell may signal infection. With a clean cage and a balanced diet, your piggy's bathroom habits should barely register. Speaking of cleanliness, some owners think piggies need regular baths, do they? Myth number three. Guinea pigs can be bathed frequently. Who doesn't love a clean pet? It's tempting to want to give your guinea pigs a good scrub, especially if they have long hair and get a bit messy. The common misconception is that guinea pigs need frequent batting, such as weekly or twice a month, to stay clean and healthy. The truth is, guinea pigs are remarkably good at grooming themselves. Veterinary manuals suggest to bat them occasionally and that over batting can cause problems. The Merck veterinary manual recommends weekly brushing, periodic nail trim as a routine care. 
When bathing is required, owners should use a shampoo formulated for small animals and avoid getting water or soap in their eyes and ear. The RSPCA emphasizes that bathing is stressful and should be reserved for situations like skin parasite or when fur is contaminated with urine or feces. After bathing, guinea pigs must be dried thoroughly because damp fur can chill them and lead them to respiratory infection or even hypothermia. Guinea pigs are clean animals and they will naturally dust bath themselves in hay. Why it matters? Over batting strip the coat of natural oil, leading to dry, flaky skin, itching, and even open sores. And don't forget, wet fur and draft can cause hypothermia or pneumonia in these delicate animals. Bath time is also stressful. Anxious piggies can injure themselves trying to escape. Practical advice. Focus on preventive grooming rather than regular bath. Brush your piggy's coat weekly to remove loose fur and spot check for lumps, scars or parasites. If your guinea pig becomes soiled with urine or feces, use a shallow container of warm water and a guinea pig safe shampoo. The water level should be below their shoulder, about an inch of water, not more. Remember, guinea pigs are not great swimmers. After a bath, it's also a good time to give them a treat. Myth number four, short-haired guinea pigs don't require regular grooming. You might think that if your guinea pigs has short hair like an American cavy, they're pretty low maintenance in the grooming department. No? The myth is that short-haired guinea pigs don't need regular grooming because their fur won't mat, unlike their long-haired cousin. The truth is, even short-haired guinea pigs can benefit from regular grooming. Veterinarians recommend brushing their fur every week and trimming their nails every few weeks. And if you have a long hair guinea pigs, you can even brush them daily to keep them pretty. Why it matters? Skipping grooming can lead to matte fur with hay and poopsies stuck in it. Tangled fur can even trap moisture and bacteria, causing skin irritation. Myth number five. Guinea pigs don't need their teeth checked by a vet regularly. When you think about guinea pig health, you might focus on their diet, their cage, or even their fur. But there's one hidden area that's often overlooked. This one is absolutely vital for their survival. Their teeth. The dangerous myth is that guinea pigs don't need regular veterinary dental checks or that their teeth will naturally wear down perfectly with just hay. The truth is, guinea pig's teeth are open-rooted, meaning they grow continuously. Scientific studies report that their incisors grow between 1.4 and 1.9 mm each week. If anything interferes with natural wear, such as misalignment, trauma, or a low-fiber diet, their teeth can overgrow and cause malocclusion. Signs of dental problems include drooling, weight loss, and difficulty eating. Regular veterinary checkup help catch issues before they cause pain and starvation. Even with a perfect diet, some guinea pigs develop dental abnormalities due to their genetics or injury. Why it matters? Dental disease is a serious welfare issue. Guinea pigs hide pain, so owners often notice problems only when the animals stop eating, and it's too late. Untreated dental disease may require surgical intervention and can be fatal. Routine exams allow vets to check tooth alignment and spot problems while they're still small, sparing your pet needless suffering. Practical advice. Feed them with a balanced diet rich in vitamin C and with plenty of fresh hay for chewing time. Check their weight regularly. A sudden weight loss can signal dental trouble. Schedule annual veterinary wellness exam and consider more frequent checkups for older piggies. We've covered five myths that could have harmed your guinea pigs. We've learned that droppings aren't poisonous but can carry nasty germs. So wash up your hands after cleaning their cage. We discovered that urine smell is not the main factor for a stinky habitat. Ammonia odors signal it's time for a fresh bedding change. We saw that overbatting will stress your guinea pigs and even dries their skin. We debunked the idea that short-haired guinea pigs don't need grooming. Finally, we saw that dental checkups are critical because guinea pig teeth never stop growing. Keeping your piggies thriving isn't about trendy hacks, but following science-based care, practicing good hygiene, and partnering with a good vet is absolutely important. 
If you found this video helpful, check out my other video and don't be shy to share it with your friend or place it on your Facebook group page. You can also drop a like, share your piggy tails in the comment and subscribe for more. I'm Daniel and you are an awesome guinea pig owner. Just like your piggies, stay curious, stay kind and always double check with the guinea pig facts.